Hello, Grumpies. We all know who Josh Snares is. He's one of the big cheeses on YouTube. And I don't really have a problem with Joshy, apart from the fact that he pronouns the Doctor. Sorry, Josh. You lost me on that one, mate. Now, Josh has made a fan film. So, I came across this in my feed about one o'clock today and it's about 45 minutes later now and it started off 950 odd views and now it's up to 1170 last time i looked it's probably more than that by now so i thought i'd do a bit of a reaction because uh, looks interesting now first thing to say is that joshy says thanks for being nice to me bit defensive there josh don't you think what makes you think that people aren't going to be nice to you because like doctor who fans there's so much that we agree on these days. Anyway, first thing I noticed was this production was produced and filmed on Wajuk country. Now, obviously that's some kind of Australian Aboriginal sensitivity type thing going on there that I know fuck all about, but shouldn't that be in Wajuk country? Uh, and the other thing, Joshy, you need to check your grammar, mate. Uh, this fan production is not endorsed by nor affiliated with the BBC or the Tiri Nation estate. You can't have a nor without a neither. So that should really be, this fan production is neither endorsed by, sponsored by, nor affiliated with. Just pointing that out, Joshy. Not trying to be nasty. I'm just saying you need to brush up your grammar, mate. So let's look at the cast. Uh, the president, Amy Fortnum... She got a friend called Mason. Uh, Nova Bethany Newton. Sav Maximiliano Lafont. That's a funky name, isn't it? Dalek voices Aaron Vanderclee, who's also the producer. So Maximiliano Lafont, the guy with the funky name, also is the Daleks. But there's a shot in the trailer, and there's 33 shots in this, I know, because I counted them, where there's two Daleks in them. Something tells me that the other Dalek is Joshy. Go on, it's you, Joshy, isn't it? Of course it bloody is. Now, given what's in the trailer, and I'm not going to use any footage in the trailer, Joshy, don't worry. I'm going to be nice. I'm just going to use some screen grabs for illustrative purposes only, fair use and all that. The fact that there's two Sheilas in this and one bloke, is that the message, Joshy? Is it? The strong female leader and her strong female second in command and the only bloke in the trailer. Well, we'll find out what happens to him. Anyway, let's move on to the actual trailer itself and have a look at some of the nice little Easter eggs that Joshy's put in there for us fans. Okay, so we start off with this shot, which is Madam President, I don't know, looking at her plants or something, unless that's some kind of um, vegetation monster or something, or what's that bloke from uh, Dalek Master Plan? What's his name? Zephon. Is that Zephon? Is that a Zephony thing? I don't know, whatever it is. So, I like these panels. This is very um, underwater menace, although I think these things have appeared in loads of Doctor Who stories over the years, but that's kind of an underwater menacey kind of vibe. Don't know about the dado rail, but. Yep, so far so good. Oh dear. Um, right, not the best, well, I suppose, fan film acting, isn't it? I take it this is Maximiliano Funky Name. Because um, he's the only bloke in the story. Yeah, not sure about that, Josh. Now, the, the story such as it is, it's, I mean, it's fairly obvious, you know, the Daleks have been devious as usual. It's Power of the Daleks Mark II. So, Continent A and Continent B are at war. Why they call themselves Continent A and Continent B? I mean, it's a bit TV-21, but don't they have names? And um, what's this? This looks like a kind of Flash Gordon sort of asteroidy, planety type thing, but is that, is that meant to be the missile? Is that what that is? I'm, I'm not quite sure, Josh. What is that? So, strong female number two... Strong female leader with, I don't know, what's that, a smiley face badge she's got on or something? 
So we need to talk about this. This is this is quite good. There's quite a lot to unpack in this. First of all, um, a typewriter. Does that have her script on it? Did she have problems remembering her lines, Joshy? The master is in this. There's the master's grandfather clock, which is nice. And I really like the Emperor Dalek sign on the door. If you look at this door here, that's the shape of that. That's the Emperor Dalek. That's nice. Nice. I like that, Joshy. Nice. And here's Charlie. Now, his gun's down, because obviously we know that's going to come up dramatically and shoot someone later on. Dalek looks fucking fantastic. Nice. I love the wobbly Dalek. I like, I like the fact that he wobbles a bit when he's angry and excited, like Daleks used to do. Nice. Nice one, Joshy. Like that, mate. That's a great shot. Love that shot. Very nice. Now, in this shot with the Daleks turning round, what's this in the bottom of the frame? What's that, Joshy? It doesn't look like a Dalek gun. Is, is that the gun that... Is someone holding that gun? Or is, is that a... What is that? And I do like the fact that the Dalek has got a bent shoulder slat. Dalek 6388 are going to love that. This is clearly meant to evoke the Dalek time machine from the chase and the Dalek master plan. Very good, like it, very accurate. Um, but there's two Daleks in this. So this is, this is where I think Joshy does his Dalek cameo. I could be wrong, but I think that's Joshy. Now, this was the only bit in the trailer that made me go, Whoa, what the fuck was that? You've got two strong Sheilas and one bloke, and the bloke offs himself. That's a bit dark, Joshy. Even for Dr. Fucking Who. And the fact that you've got two strong women and one bloke, and the bloke offs himself, that seems a bit like the message to me. Is that the message, Josh? Is it? Seems a bit like the message to me. Seems a bit pro-vagina and anti-penis. But then, you like to pronoun the Doctor, don't you? The title font. That's a bit Tom Bakery, that font. Was it, was it like, too obvious to use the Dalek font or the Hartful or Troughton font? Because, I mean, you filmed this in black and white. You're clearly trying to evoke those Hartnell Dalek serials and Power of the Daleks, but you've used a Tom Baker font? Okay, whatever. Well, if nothing else, we can see this appearing in the video column in DWM. You never know. DWM might even do an article on it. Hey, Joshy, you might get yourself in DWM. They did an article on the University of Central Lancashire doing Mission to the Unknown, so you might get an article out of it. That'd be good for you, wouldn't it? So, what do I give this? I would give this 6 out of 10. A strong 6 out of 10. A weak 6.5 strong six. Now, of course, it doesn't come out for another week. The story is pretty obvious what it's going to be. You know, the Daleks are manipulating Madam President and they're going to turn on her and betray her and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, that's what Daleks did. So, yeah, it looks good. Quite like it. Quite like it, Joshy. Not bad, mate. Not bad at all. So, The Might of the Daleks. It's a fan film. How good can it be? Looks all right. Whatever it is, even if it turns out to be shite, which it probably won't, it'll still be better than whatever fucking Russell T. Davis and Dr. Pronoun give us. Well done, Josh. Well done, mate.